In this lesson I want to cover the new object snap tracking. <coughs> the button down the bottom here that says snap tracking is how you turn it on and off. And what the snap tracking does, it's a feature that helps you draw objects at specific angles or positions relative to other objects. When snap tracking is turned on, temporary alignment paths appear that are based on the object snap points. So basically if I go and draw a few walls here, you will notice that the vertical and horizontal dashed lines is actually the snap tracking. So if I want to line my wall up here with a point when I hover over this first wall, I will then get a vertical snapping point that I can now snap to. Then I can finish off my drawing. So now I'll just zoom in and I'll just show you another example where we can actually um, snap a column to a point out here in space where it lines up with this horizontal wall and this vertical wall. With the snap tracking you can line up to five elements at one time. What you can also do is turn off your ortho and turn on your angle snap. So basically if I wanted to I can go and select a column and I can hover over this point here and you'll notice that my snap tracking will rotate around snapping at the increments that I've set in my angle snap. So if I turn my ortho back on I now want to hover over this vertical wall so you can see the black dot there and that will give me the vertical snap point and across to the horizontal wall that I want to line up with and that gives me the horizontal snapping point and then when I move back together where they intersect it gives me an intersection point for that post. Thank you.